Hi, this is Mrs. Reister with your key for your turn number two for lesson 7.4. Carl is having a party. He has bought 24 brownies and is making six more batches of brownies. He needs to have at least 138 brownies for his party. To find a variable, write and solve an inequality that can be used to find the number of brownies needed per batch. So to start with, I'm going to define my variable and I'm gonna use B for the number of brownies in each batch. So we know that he has 24 brownies. He's already got 24 and he's making six more batches. So we know he's making six batches. We just don't know how many brownies are in each. But that keyword each tells me that I'm really going to take six times my variable because we know that if there were 10 brownies in each batch and he made six batches, we would take six times 10. So I'm gonna add to the 24 that he already has, six B for the number of brownies in each batch. And we know that he needs to have at least 138 brownies. So when we say at least, that means the minimum number is 138. So he could have more than. So our inequality sign here is going to be greater than, but he could also have exactly 138. So that makes our inequality sign actually greater than or equal to. 138. So our inequality here for this problem is 24 plus 6b is greater than or equal to 138. And so to solve it, I'm going to start by subtracting 24 from both sides. I've got 114. So my new inequality now is 6b is greater than or equal to 114. And so now to solve here, I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. So 114 divided by 6 is 19. So what this means here is that B is greater than or equal to 19. So to answer this question, Carl needs to make sure that he has 19 or more brownies in each batch in order for him to have the minimum number of brownies for his party, which is 138.